Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to unbox uh, this. This is the Daisy Tech Pride. It's a Daisy. Uh, this one is the Powerline uh, 426 uh, model. And this one, it shoots uh, 430 feet per second. It has a uh, molded uh, black grip, lower accessory uh, rail, 15 shots uh, built-in BB magazine. So you can shoot like 15 shots uh, BB CO2 uh, semi-automatic. It delivers uh, 15 uh, rounds in uh, seconds. Minimum velocity is uh, 430 feet per second with the uh, 0.177 uh, caliber, 4.5 millimeter uh, steel air gun uh, shots. And this one is powered by uh, CO2 powered, okay? And it says uh, high powered uh, air gun for age, uh, ages uh, 16 years or older. Check out the back real quick. This is, uh, they have a front sight, 15 shots uh, built in uh, BB magazine and then a uh, rear sight require uh, 12 grams of a CO2 uh, cylinder which is not included but you can see I have uh, BBs and then a uh, CO2 uh, cylinders already and then there is a safety uh, lock accessory uh, rail you put like a flashlight or a laser beam or whatever that you have and uh, molded uh, black grip and then uh, take M at the safety and come with the owner's operation manual uh, under the flap I I saw this one uh, one time at Walmart for $19.99 or something like that and I was kind of regret that I didn't buy it and I guess that they ran out of stock so I finally got the this gun I guess they restock it somehow or oh, I actually I went to a different Walmart I, I think the third one that I finally found it and the uh, action on this one is CO2 uh, power semi-automatic caliber is uh, 1.177 4.5 millimeter sights uh, blade and uh, ramp front slash uh, fixed open uh, rear capacity is 15 uh, shot built in uh, BB uh, magazine barrel is a uh, smooth uh, bore steel Maximum velocity is uh, 430 feet per second or 130 m/s. Maximum shot distance is 209 yards or 191 meter. Overall length is uh, 6.875 inch. The weight about this is about 0 0.1, I mean 0 0.9 pounds. So uh, this is the Daisy Powerline model uh, 1700 CO2 BB and it has the uh, same caliber. My uh, brother gave me this one uh, like long time ago and unfortunately somehow this one has uh, like a leak. You screw the CO2 in there. Somehow it's like leaking around there and maybe the rubber seal or need is leaking or something or I need to screen it make it more tighter or something but uh, as you can see and then this is the safety and then the trigger right here it's a safety button right here I get push it push down to lock it and this is the barrel you don't want to look in the barrel, point at your eye, but just doing this for the camera. And then it's your front side, and then your rear side right here, and then there is your 
BB's uh, magazine or we load your BB's ad. So uh, I got this from my bro when he gave me that gun. So he got this at the Big Five long time ago for eleven ninety nine. And then this is the one that I bought from uh, Walmart. Uh, since I, you buy big and save more, so that's why I got this uh, big uh, six thousand count. Okay. So you pop this open. You got the small loader and a big uh, opening for the bigger loader. So let's go ahead and then uh, get this uh, unbox, shall we? I like to open from the top. Let's uh, get the opening. There you go. So easy to come apart. So here is the instruction manual. Right? Oh, what's that? Target. Wow, it's a pretty nice gun compared to this one. This is so long, has a long barrel. So I'm not sure uh, which one has better accuracy. And from the top, you can see like a spring. On the small one right here, on the new one. And as you can see, the grip is uh, molded pretty nicely. <laughs> and this is where you screw in your uh, CO2 cylinder. It's kind of tiny if you have a bigger finger, so lucky I have a small finger, so versus uh, this one is uh, in the opening. I guess uh, they want to make this uh, conceal so it doesn't look uh, like a toy gun. This look more like a professional. And here is your safety lock. An unlock button. So you push down, it is locked. You push from this side, then uh, you can pull the trigger. I'm not sure I would put it in for safety. And then here is a barrel. And this is where you, see, uh, you install your accessory. As you see, there's like a groove. Or you clamp your uh, or screw on your uh, laser pointer or your flashlight or whatever accessory that you have. This is the front of the side, and this is the rear. Let's see. Check out the magazine. Check out this one real quick. It's a 426 uh, model. So I guess they give you what? A couple of targets to shoot. Oh, there's one more here. So they give you like eight targets.
Or maybe the the grip you could uh, take it out. Let's see. It's not English. So if you take out the safety, you get, wow, that's pretty cool. Just uh, keep on uh, semi-automatic. Wow, that's pretty fast. Got to figure out how to take this out, guys. Uh, oh, the BBs, right? Where's the BB go? So here I finally figured out how to uh, take out the grip and stuff like that and then load the BB. So in order to take this out, make sure you put it on the safety lock. And all you do is just hold the gun, however you want to hold it. Make sure you get a good grip. And then just put it out, the, the grip. Okay. And as you can see, this is like an aluminum. And here is your CO2, uh, CO2 where you're going to put the CO2 in. Open this one real quick. Too bad I throw away the empty one. So, so you do just uh, tie this one in. Okay. And make sure you just keep on screwing in and then uh, tie out the CO2. And you should make that sound once you install it. I'm gonna take this one out. Make sure you don't uh, push in too hard. Let me tell you a clip, that's it. And then just screw. You wanna screw, screw this one in first, okay? You don't wanna screw in after you put the, the grip in. It's gonna be more difficult because you only got certain uh, space. And here is the fun part. The fun part is to lower your BBs. Let me see, I think there's some BB. Alright. So you for loading the BB, this is like a clip right here on the, to push it to the front until it uh, lock into its place. You gotta push it and then uh Put it down here, okay? Or is it not going to lock? So push forward and then turn it to the left. And this is where you're going to load your BB, your BBs. Right there, you see that a little round. All you do is just uh, pop in the BB. It's going to be hard for me to put in or try to film. Got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, uh, they say 15 is the maximum, so, so that's it, okay? This is a 15, but uh, you want to, yeah, I dropped it. So 
So let's uh, give it a test. I'm not going to put the CO2 since we inside the house is going to be too loud and too strong. So I'm just going to open this uh, safety. Once you push it, you see the red showing. That means the safety is unlocked. Okay. It's kind of weird. So now you can shoot. I'm trying to shoot right here and uh, the BB should come out. Uh, this one last time. So there you go. It, it came out. All right. So this is the power line 426. Hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification and uh, Drop in your comments on below. See uh, what you guys uh, want me to uh, do a like, review on this one or not. Let me just try to shoot it out. And then you want to be sure to count all your BBs and make sure everything is uh, out. And lock into this place. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Bye always. Peace.